Hello and welcome. This is the International Service of Adventist World Radio in English from Hello and welcome Pune. Join us today. This is the internet with music coming to you from National Service of Adventist Esther Cynthia and World Radio in English Heritage Singers from Pune. Join for children and title us today with music coming to behold the stars you from Esther Cynthia ending our program with a and heritage it from God's word on the singers a story for topic how to claim victory children entitled behold over sin this is sure all the stars ending and I'm Maureen your whole program with a message from God's word. and you are listening to word on the topic how Adventist world radio the voice to claim victory over sin is of hope this is Sharad and I, let's begin our program with a song by I'm Maureen your host Esther Cynthia Free a- and you are listening to Advent the bird to the mountain world radio the voice of hope let's begin our program with a song by Esther Cynthia Free a- the bird to the mountain Thou 
You are listening to Adventist Savior will wipe the world radio and every tear. Here's a story about yes. a Sophia entitled Jesus will wipe Behold the star every tear. Dear friend, most of us know the major planets in solar system, Mercury. You are listening to Venus Adventist World Radio Earth Mars And now here's a story about What are Sophia entitled The distances between the planets of our Behold the stars our solar system Dear friend suppose to us know them we had an imaginary major planets in our solar system rocket ship Mercury traveling at Venus Earth 5000 miles in Mars about what are the distance 10 times the average speeds between the planets of our of a modern jet airliner solar system let's start the magical trip at the very suppose we had an imaginary center of the sun imaginary rocket ship now traveling at suppose a baby is born 5000 the very first day of the journey miles an hour about me the 10 times the hour baby would be about 900 speed of a modern jet months old by the time the airliner we reached mercury let's start a magical trip at the assuming very center all the planets we are going to touch are of the sun in a straight line from now suppose the sun a baby is born the v- continuing on the first day of the journey the baby would be about the baby about 19 months old when would be about we get to venus 9 months old by we the time we reached mercury we would reach earth ab- about Two months after assuming all the planets for the baby's second birthday, we are going to touch our inner st- Arriving at Mars, straight line from the sun. The child would be con- three years continuing on and two months old. The baby would be about at Jupe, 19 months old when we get to the youngster to Venus. It would be 11 years we would reach old earth about 22 years old and two months after the baby saturn 41 second birthday by the time we got to you arriving at Venus, mars the child would be and, and uh, 64 at three years and two months old neptune in other words at earth's the journey would take Jupiter an entire lifetime. The youngster would be ill. Remember, 11 years old. All this time we've been tra- tra- traveling only in our 82 years old at Saturn, own solar system. 41 by the time. We- now there are m- got to Uranus, billions, even billions, and uh, 60 of similar star systems or at Neptune. In our galaxy, ref- in other words, the two as the Milky Way. Journey would take an end. How many galaxies their entire lifetime? Are, who knows? The distance between. Remember, all the suns is from time we've been traveling only in fantastic. We have to use 
our own solar system yard stick of the system now there of light there are millions even this means that while billions of similar star systems it can travel from the sun in our galaxy referred to our earth in for to as the milky way about 8 minutes it took how many take more than many galaxies there are four years to reach the sun who knows It's closest the distance between neighboring star suns is fun or sun tastic we have to use dear listener the yardstick of many scientists and of the speed of light astronomers feel that the end this means that while the entire universe is it can travel from the sun banding nearby gap to our earth in axis or star about 8 minutes systems appear to be move it to take more than fling away at four years to reach the sun few hundred miles closest per second neighboring star galaxies at the outer or sun range of the dear listener inch hail telescope many scientists are apparently going and astronomers feel away at velocities of 10 the entire universe of thousands of miles is expanding per second nearby ga- galaxies axis or star at further limits may be more systems appear to be moving away at even faster ring away at its there may be a po- few hundred miles per second way out second there in space where the ga- galaxies at the outer axis are going away at a speed range of the 200 equal to the speed of light inch hail telescope or thus the light apparently going away at it leads them could never reach velocities of 10 reaches tens of thousands of miles per second how then we with joke and gap can explain 